Hello there once again, people, and welcome to yet another episode in the middle of this random Doom PY playthrough. I'm your host, that's Taco, and today we're going to be checking out Frag Festival, made by Nathan Ologar, who has nothing of interest to tell about himself. Anyway, this is a very big, over 550 sectors, deathmatch level, with many different areas, including a large death arena, a room with many disoriented elevators. Some strategically placed lighting, a couple of one-way walls, etc. I suggest playing on difficulties 1, 2, 3 with respawn, or difficulty 4 without respawn, unless you're really cool. Since this level is so big, you might try hunting each other down in cooperative mode, so you can see where your friend is. I played for over a half an hour uh, without seeing my friend. Also, you may want to look really hard, and you might find some secret areas that you can use to your advantage. May even use an editor to find them. Well, th well, that's a terrible excuse. Yeah, you can't find them. It's not because I didn't design it, right? It's because you're supposed to use the editor. Yeah. Well, enough of this. Let's get to the important stuff. Anyway, um, thanks to Ed, Brandon Weiber for DU, as well as Raphael Kinnett, and we Tech for Reject 1.0, which, as you see, is starting to be used more and more. Um, it, it basically, yo, um, Re Reject 1.0 basically just helps it speed it up a bit, though it does seem a bit buggy based on what we saw in, um, Satipus or whatever. Satipus? Satipus? I forget what exactly it is, but, yeah, that level. <laughs> um, yeah, but basically, single player is there for looking. It's not really what's intended to be played. But it sounds like there's plenty of enemies at the same time. So, yeah. Anyway, it took about 60 hours for him to make. Yuck! Anyway, he used DU 5.1, DU 5.2, DU GCC 5.2, as well as 5.1, uh, BSP 1.1, as well as Reject 1.0. DU is cool! After its nodes builders, although its nodes builders does have a 512 sector limit, after which it crashes. Anyway, there are no bugs he knows about. Email him if you, you find any. Anyway, um, you may do whatever you want with this file as long as you know he's given some sort of credit, such as the file being included, or even a simple thanks to Nathan Ogre for if you, this is used as a base for other wants and stuff like that. Also very important, this file is not to be used to bring physical harm to any person, such as including subliminal messages causing players to commit suicide or kill others. And please don't edit this one file to crash and wipe out the CMOS. Um, so yeah, basically this is his first PWOD, even though it took him a few weeks to complete. So please no flames. Email him constructive criticism, compliments, or even if you just want to tell him that he's really cool. He'll be releasing his second level sometime in the next week or two. It will be called something like Pentafrag. It includes five elevators that move up and down, and depending on the height of the elevator, you may go in one, eight directions. Is it nearly as big? Have fun, and do on! Alright, well, well that's basically it all in that shell. We're just basically playing a ridiculously large level for some reason. I'm, I'm not really sure why we're doing this, but that's aside the point. Who cares the reason why we're doing it? That, that that's, that's the matter of the day. I think. Okay, well, well, this is actually not that big in terms of enemies. It just is starting everywhere. Hi. Oh, I got a map right here. Well, well that's convenient. Yeah, let's take out all these little weak dudes and uh, look at all the trees. There is a lot of trees, everyone. Owie! I felt that sting. Okay, so if I come this way, oh god, close the door. As you see, though, enemies can't really see you until you actually go into the sector due to Reject 1.0. That seems like a side effect of Reject 1.0 in particular. So any map that has that is going to have this issue. Which kind of stinks, but... Yeah. <clears throat> it's 
excuse me. Um, so one thing to actually note, this level was actually made in early May. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird how it's made earlier than most of the maps at the time. But um, the weird thing about all this is, even though it was made in early May, it used Reject 1.0, which I didn't think was made this early. Yeah, yeah, it's a rather weird conflict right there. Um, plus it has... You know, um, whatchamacallit, like... DU 5.21, which I don't think was released until later. And I really want to say the timestamp is off. Like, yeah, th there's no way this could be made in me uh, May. No way. You know, I I'd want it to be made in May. It'd be nice to say you historically found another May level. But like I said, the one problem with this is simply put, way too many editors that were not released in early May. If it's early May, you have to use, like, D BSP 1.0, 1.1, and, like, DU up to, like, 5.1 at the most. So, yeah. <laughs> Definitely not where it's trying to say it is. And evidence that sometimes the timestamp isn't the best to go on. But, yeah, it's basically what we can base it on more than what we, you know, Choose to base it on. You know, I, I personally do not know, you know, how, exactly how to, like... I, there's no other real way to base things on things, so... That's why it's like, the timestamp is useful for something, because you gotta have something to base it on. But it's definitely not the best answer. We, we, we could always definitely have a better way to do it. Now, where are the... Guns? Is I kinda need to kill two barons. I don't think I could do that with um, the current gun supply I have. Why do I get the feeling I need to spam every wall for otherwise hidden secrets? I'm not sure if this is good or bad because we might be getting a shotgun at this deal, but. Okay, well that works. I can't really see what I'm doing, but hooray, shotgun ammo. Now I guess we just hug these walls and start spinning like crazy. And hopefully, by golly, we get something out of this. It'd be nice. Of course, we might have to punch a wall. I, I don't know, we might have to shoot the wall or something. Who knows what they expect of us half the time. That's part of the problem. That's a joke. Figure it out! Now! Does anyone see any secrets? I'm looking out for 17 of them. I have yet to find one in this tiny, ridiculously small level. I don't even know how there could be 17 secrets. It looks like up there could be some secrets. I can just figure out how to get to it. Okay, what's all this? This is another hellhole maze type thing. Thank God for the auto map. This is already getting annoying. Damaging force and no real way to avoid it. What a terrible design choice. Wait, 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 what's that white, what's that line over there about? Wait a minute here. Aha! This isn't even a secret! What? Um, people! We found the secret that's not even a secret. I don't even know what it is. There's no way it clues you into its location. Besides that one little broken line on the other map. And yet, it's not even a secret. I I, I don't even know. I'm not squatting half the time, people. At least we got the chain gun. Of course, we could just gun the chain gun from here. Which leads to the important question of where in God's name am I going? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, okay. Well, here, here's some more Startan rooms. Good, I was missing Startan. Oh, look, another teleporter. Well, this was pointless. What's, what's the point of that? Yeah, I ki just killed myself. Good to know. When at first you can't succeed, be sure to kill yourself. Oh god! You know, I'd like the ability to actually see the thing I'm trying to shoot at. Because, um, yeah. Sounds like a lot of elevators around here. And a lot of doors. So many doors. And a lot of small rooms for some reason. I probably should just be using these. Okie dokie. Smokey. Bokey dude. So that basically covers all this, you see. There's plenty of other areas to go around here. Yeah, the, the, the bear in the hell here is going to be a bit pain, because like I said, I can't really see him. Owie. But yeah, it's basically a balance of... Owie! Not doing that! Keep going! Sadly, that was actually probably pretty close to where we would have been killed. Really makes you think, huh? Really makes you think. Alright, there we are! At least that's one baron out of the way. Now what? Now we wander around all the creation and shoot some stuff. No, I wonder why in God's name I'm doing all this. Kind of love how like few enemies there are though overall on this map. Like it feels large but very abandoned. Like there's very little here going on. You know, for this large of a map, there's like nothing happening. It's very static. And so far, the only hidden area on the play map didn't even do anything. It didn't even count as a secret. Okay. So. Okay. More enemies. Fine, whatever, whatever you say, game. Okay. So I just killed some stuff. Plenty of enemies now. Now, uh, the question here is... I actually succeeded in doing anything. Could use some finding some health, which probably would happen if I could actually, you know, find some resources. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Oh look, another Baron, just what the world needed. And 
and he also can't shoot me because he's in a different sector due to reject 1.0. Hey, hey, that's amazing, people. Hooray for the absolutely buggy nature. And uh, that's pretty much it. At least for this area. I still know where all these buddy secrets are at. It feels like, yeah, I'm still getting lost on where the buddy secrets are in the first place. Owie! Love when I completely missed the target. What's this lady to? Rejects, I can't even see me! Of course, that makes total sense. Super ridiculously narrow corridors with nowhere to go! Secret! Of some sort. Ooh, what's this? Kevin's a go around and make me very, very confused. Needless to say, this is a very chaotic map. It's not really interconnect to each other, but this was more interconnected in a bad way because I can't understand what's going on half the time. My special goey ball thing. Okay, we gotta collect all these little tiny health points. This doesn't mean very little. Oh, I want that one. I think that's all of them. Can't really tell half the time. And that was a complete waste of time for picking up anything of actual use. Good to know! Oh, health points. Okay, a log staircase that leads somewhere. Amazing. I just keep dying and not really know what I'm doing. This right here is ultimate design choices, people. Giant empty room. Yeah! This was a waste of time. This is everything else in life. So, uh... Now what? Good question. Feels like we need to make this map raise stuff. But how do we do that? We need to raise the roof! Raise the roof and not have Startian everywhere. That, that, that'd be a nice one, actually. How do we not have Startian everywhere? I'd like to know that. Okay, a room filled with goa and this. Oh look, a long narrow corridor filled with death. That, that, that's always good. Yeah, this is the highlight of my day, people. Long corridor filled with death. So, uh... Oh, well, there's three of them. I have the ammo to deal with it all. I probably should use the chain gun. Rat tat tat. Man, 
know about that. So come on, you can die. The other two deads. Wait, you not believe in equal participation? Oh, we have a pet. As you see... There's gotta be a way across. Yeah! Well, it's not this way, that's for sure. But at least we killed the barons. That right there means we've done everything that's important. We killed the barons. There's so many teleporter based things, I have no idea how to get to any of it. Yeah, that's real Winrar. That's real Winrar right now. There, people. Something tells me I don't want to go this way. You know, at least come back this way so we all have to deal with the damaging four sectors. Now for the question of the day. Hey, God's name, am I going? Good question, Bebo. I don't know. Huh. Well, this is interesting to say the least. I don't know where I'm going. I'm a bit lost, people. What a great place to be lost. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, just wonder how they will see us. Something will eventually happen. So we can believe, right? If you believe hard enough, and you breathe deep enough, things will happen. And they'll feel righteous. Okie dokie. You're playing a terrible game of peekaboo with me, aren't you? Okay, this is a weird little hidey hole area. Where's the point? Or do I benefit from this? Well, there's a switch here. Which could be intriguing, but it could also lower things and make it so I can't do with things or whatnot. I see. Long corridors leading nowhere. I see. Owie. That hurt. As you see, we can wander around aimlessly all around creation, shoot some stuff, feel great about shooting that stuff, and we'll, uh... That's about it right there. So yeah, we're still a bit lost and a bit confused, but um... Oh, if you jump like this, or not, I don't know what's going on. Yay, for more secrets. I can't accept that. Okay, so that's seven secrets already. That's that's much better than when we started. 
Okay, I found the pointless little dead end. Why, I don't know, but it's pointless and it's an awesome dead end. It has plenty of shells. Hmm. Seems like we're gonna have a fun time. Yep, if you're, if you're in here, you're gonna have a bad time. Alright, for ridiculously narrow corridors, which makes it harder to kill the Baron. Oh, there we are. One dead Baron. Another Baron! I see. He's not helping the situation, people. Looks like we're going to have a couple barons to deal with, aren't we? Great. That's just great! There we are, another one dead. Another one down? Owie. Stop it! Stop it! Rat tat tat! Right in the back! Rat tat tat! Shoot them rapidly. All right. Who would guess that we would kill this many at least? Simple enough. Next one. Slightly larger area. Owie. Well, at least there's only one more, and then we can actually say we did it. We, we attained victory. We attained the ultimate goal of pressing this random button in the middle of this giant area. And that's the exit. Okay. So at least we found the exit now. That is, of course, very good to know. At the least, know where the bloody exit to this godforsaken thing is. So, yeah. Definitely a pain in the butt for exit to reach, but now we know where it is. And knowing is, of course, half the battle. What's this do? Oh, so this allows you to get back in. Uh, 
Oh! That's how you get in. It's simply a barrel block blocking it. I see. Hey! Stop it. Okay, um... Now what? There seems to be an invisible wall up there. Okay, not sure what the point of any of this is. For one little health bonus, it's sweet. I'm glad I got that health bonus. Otherwise, my life would have not been complete. I would have never been able to find that health bonus. I'm not trying to run random one. Now, uh, what else have I not done? Wait, what? Where am I now? I don't know. I have no freaking clue where I am now, people. Like, really? Where is this? What is this? What's the point of this? Why, why do you even come in here? Like, what am I missing now? Really? I'm confused. What, what, why is this a thing? Very confused, people. Needless to say. So these switches trigger the same things, but uh. I don't get it at all. I don't get what I'm supposed to be doing, I don't get any of it. No, nope, sirree. I do not get it. So I found the secret, but I don't get the secret at all. It doesn't make any sense to me. What's the point of this completely dead-end area, and I can't hit any of the walls? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, people. There's, there's enemies, there's things I have a gun, and I don't know how I get to any of it. I don't know where I am. Yeah. There's all of this down here. But the problem is... It's just like this. Now all this. That's when get over there. And really, it's like I need to raise this somehow, and I don't know how to raise it. I think it all has it's probably interconnected. Like if you know clip through this, you'll probably find a teleporter or something. See, it looks like it's interconnected and it goes out that way, but how? It almost works backwards from here, which makes no sense to even more than anything else. I mean, I get this one, but that doesn't really help me at all. This is like a random red herring. So, uh, now what, people? What am I doing wrong? Well... We have an idea that it's coming from this way. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, people. This, it's just like, this is a giant map. A lot of invisible wall sectors. Well, I just don't know how to get to any of them. I need a clue what I'm supposed to be doing. So as it stands, none of this makes any sense to me. Wait, there's a teleporter here. No, actually, I can't get to the teleporter. Never mind, I, I thought I was happy for a moment.
Then I just realized there was more chance to disappoint me. So, uh, yeah. I feel like I'm lost. Do you ever feel lost in life? I do. Um... That's it, I'm gonna have to look it up because I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. And this map is so bloody confusing, I have no idea where to even begin looking. So yeah, you triggered this sector with that. That. What? Okay, this makes even less sense than I thought. Okay. Whatever. That's basically how you open it, people. You basically click one of the walls that doesn't even look like it's blade related to the entire thing. Yeah. The wall outside this blade place. Wait, what? As you see, this is how annoying it is. And now I'm confused it's exactly how you're supposed to get out here. Huh. Where is I? Back of views. Yeah, this is a people. I'm trying to think where exactly this thing is. Sounds like it's almost down here. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really sure where this goes. That's it. Wait, what? This is a secret too? Okay, this is making a lot of sense by the minute. So is this just like a fake door? I think so that opens this but then how did God's name do you open the rest of this this map doesn't make any sense this whole secret area doesn't make any sense I mean, this, this is entirely stupid this is stupid people right here I I don't I don't get it now I'm confused once again. Th this is this is entirely stupid. It makes no sense. I'm um, blade insect to spam every freaking wall, and it's a chaotic area that doesn't make any sense. And it's like, how do you control that sectored wall layer? Yeah, what what, what controls that? You're supposed to be just able to touch it. Something it looks like. What? That doesn't make any sense. Nope, sorry, that doesn't make any sense at all. You're basically supposed to touch this stupid wall. Oh, you're supposed to play chainsaw. Okay, at this point, I'm really getting sick of this area. It's stupid. It's very, very stupid. I don't get why, why we had this area. It's headache inducing and it makes no sense. Like, uh, really? Now what? Now what? What, what, what? what was the point of all this? 
Really? You have a gigantic empty open area. Amazing people. I, I don't get the point of this at all. There seems to be no point. Oh, who knows in this area? In some way it might make sense to people. I feel like this was a complete waste of time and I didn't get anything out of it. People? Like, what was the point of all this? It feels like now I have to find another stupid secret in this area, and I don't know where to even begin to look. i really just give me where the place secret is, this thing. Oh look, I don't even see anything that you can trigger anything out here. This literally was an empty area with nothing to show for it. Great. Just great! More than good. It's great! Huh. And, uh... Yeah, I'm not so sure how to control this area or make it, you know, do anything or anything like that. It's all these teleport spots, but how's one teleport? How's one get into this boy area to begin with? I don't get any of this. None of this makes any sense. I'm very confused. It feels like spam walls and all that to do things that don't really make any sense. And I don't get what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, none of this did anything. None of this helped in any way. This was all a waste of time, and I don't get what I'm supposed to do. Okay, the Raising Lower and Four area, yep, that's that. That still doesn't help me at all. These teleporters lead to all these different areas, but how's when you even get out there? In the first place. That's why I don't get it. It feels like we're not getting something or something like that. I, I don't get this. This doesn't make any sense, even by looking at the map. I mean... There's got to be a start, and uh, I don't see how it starts. Yeah. Well, people, I'm confused. And this was a waste of time. There's literally nothing out here. Good to know. Seriously, I I just got nothing out of all that. It's not even like this. The walls are correct the way they're showing things. This is something. It essentially shows itself as being right out here. It's being at this wall here. This one shows it's being here. I'm right next to these. That's weird.
Yeah, I'm a bit confused. Needless to say. Yeah, once I do that, now I'm confused. So I don't want to do that. I play this weird dance whereby I. There's no other way out of the room. What if I trigger this and run down? Say I had God mode on. Now we flew down here. Be anything open? No. Okay, I don't get it. I do not get this. There's gotta be something to this room or something. I, I just don't get it. This map doesn't make any sense. I, I, I don't get any of it. I don't get what I'm supposed to be doing, where I'm supposed to be going. It, it just feels like annoyances. So yeah, um... Hmm. I see that that's also like a control factor that allowed there to get there. But then, how do you get onto the barren area in the first place? So that's the thing. It all loops together in a way, but it doesn't make sense how I'd get there in the first place. Am I crazy, or does none of this make any sense? I'm starting to wonder if this has something to do with the version of Doom I'm playing. And if I played in like original DOS based Doom or something, maybe I'd find out that it wasn't, you know, supposed to be connected or something like that. You know, maybe it's a sector issue or something like that, I don't know. But maybe it's like you're supposed to have that barren platform lowered somehow. And uh, that caused everything. As it stands, there's no way to really do anything. It's like... You come here... You come here... That's the thing, it'd be all interconnected. Just at this time, trying to figure out where it starts, where it goes to, how you get there in the first place. There's all these side teleporters, of course. All these extra items, everything. Good luck figuring out how to get there. Exactly the thing, it doesn't make any sense. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Before it feels like I'm missing some important detail. We know of all these areas, we know they're all secrets, but how does one get to them? That's what I don't get. None of this makes any sense. That's exactly a thing. 
all ties to each other, but I don't get how we get there in the first place. How do you get through all this? I mean, really, how does one get up here in the first place? It feels weird that there's like no way to get here. See, it almost seems like these open for a tiny bit window of time or something like that. That's how I would interpret it. What do I know? Yeah, this is not... I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, of course you have over here. Being the final secret. It's like, how does one get to all this in the first place? How? What am I missing? What, what, what am I bloody missing? I feel like I'm missing something major and I don't get what. You know, it's almost like that area at the end of the corridor is timed to something, but it's not. And I don't get what I'm supposed to do. You know, these are all controlled by inner areas, sectors that you can't reach naturally. That's interesting. The teleporter there gets brought into by the teleporter over here. What, what's the point of this teleporter down here anyway? Well, it leads back there, but that doesn't really help now, does it? The, the, the entire area was kind of pointless. See, I'm lost and confused, people. I'm very confused. You're like, what's the point of all this? Why, why, why does this area exist? Why even have this area? And this is my problem. As you see, it doesn't make any sense. I can't follow that something if it doesn't make sense to people. It just doesn't click at all, me. That doesn't. There's no logic behind any of this. And I, I know yeah. where all the secret areas are, where you know, you can get into it. Well, that's exactly the problem. I don't know where to get into it. I, I see all these secret areas, but I don't know how to get to them at all. I know they exist on the map, but how do you get there? You know, it, it feels like I'm missing something dire or something here. Something important that I just don't get. It doesn't make anybody sense. You know, it's like, yeah. What's this? Well, that's backwards. So actually, this is teleporting you to that. And that is basically what's useless to me. I, I can't do anything with that. Hey, hey. I, I am don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing with all this. You know, okay, so you say that way. You want to come over here then. 
Well, no, that doesn't make sense. If I come over to this side and say, okay, the arena area, the central circuit area. The teleporters lead to the various teleporters around there. This teleporter needs that way, which doesn't really help me either. Does any of these lead back? Or like, do any of these come from somewhere else? No. I, I, I don't get this. It feels like I'm missing something heavily. Like, I don't get it. I just don't get this, people. I don't get this level. I don't get this idea. I don't get this concept. I look at a freaking, you know, map of the entire thing. Still doesn't clarify any of it. Wait a minute. Yeah, why don't you use the ledges to climb up? I just realized there are ledges. Wait a minute here, people. I see. I, I've been thinking that you couldn't climb up it because it's, you know, doom and that there's really nothing that could be on top of each other. But nothing clearly defines that you can't climb up those walls. You know, that there isn't like sectors that are just on the edges that work without conflict with each other. Suddenly now it's making sense. Okay. It's a weird secret, but honestly, it's fair enough I, if it is like this. I can't really complain if it's, you know, climb up this tiny rock surface. Um, where was I going? Uh, this way. See so ya, yeah, here we are. You basically want to hug this back wall and start running up it. There we are. So you see, this is how you do it. This is how you buddy do it, people. Or not? Huh? What just happened? Okay, but now you can come this way. And here we are, somewhere. You get to this thing, which of course opens up momentarily. And you can come down here. This brings us to all these goodies that we were trying to get to earlier with the Baron. So yep, there we are. There's that. Better than where we were before. Okay, let's pick up the character demon here. I see, and now we're in some... Chaotic yeah, corridor design. You see, we also have the secrets here to worry about. Okay, and that's most of the items right there, people. Look at that. Much more satisfying. This is like a puzzle of some kind or something. As you see it, we have a chaotic puzzle. People. But here we are! Secret! You want it? It's yours, my friend. And these lead into each other, as you see. This is this, this is this, and 
This is the final secret. So there's all our secrets, people. Now for the question of the day. Where's the other enemy? Let's think for a second here. We just got all this. What we need to do is get back to that cliff area. See if we can get back onto it. But as you see, all of them lead into each other. We should figure that blazing out. So yeah, now we just hug this wall. We head up it. And we're looking for... I guess that little dead end way near the end. It's really not much to look for, people. So hopefully, we can figure out what in God's name we're supposed to be looking for. Because by golly, this feel like a lot less than what we could look for before. Oh, here we are! Well, that's just two imps. Okay, but there's still an item missing. There's still a bloody item missing, people. And I believe, probably, it's going to be found in this raising over an area. Just because this area is a pain in the butt to look for stuff. So, knowing that... Knowing that's annoying to look for things in it, you have to look for things in it. Exactly for that particular reason. So it's so easy to miss this blade stuff. Unless, of course, it seems that it's nowhere in here. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm already done. Where in God's name is this blade ass item? There's this one item in this freaking giant map. I've done everything else. Wait, what? Oh, it's behind a freaky invisible wall. Play game. Give me back. I'm fair for this level, people. It's invisible walls, it's funky secrets. Yeah, n n not in the mood anymore, right? I want out. I want out. I want that secret. I want out. I don't care anymore. I just want out this thing. Um. Can't go all the way up here. That's right. So you see, it's kind of secret area. That's where everything is, mostly. It really adds exactly the thing. All the annoying stuff's all clustered together, basically. So it's like you can easily miss one thing, and because of that, miss almost everything. Which stinks! Yeah. It stinks. Now, uh, where is the item? Not here. But somewhere around here. Let's see. There we are. Alright, so that's everything. Everything is godforsaken level. Get me out of here. All we have to do is get back on track to the main route. No, there's bloody invisible walls everywhere. Where's, where's the way out of here? I forget. Okay, here we are. You just follow this route up and you can get out of here. Thank God for that. Because this level can get easily very annoying. <laughs> yeah. Not really the best of levels. So, yeah. Button. Victory. Freedom. Oh, God. Well, this was an enduring run. Anyway, people, so let's talk about this level for a second. Um, it's mostly designed to be a deathmatch level, which means that single play is kind of an afterthought. Um, but we'll say it's a converted single player level because there was plenty of action um, to its stunt, I guess you could say. Honestly, it, uh, you know, unlike like a level we pre played recently, like I think the last level actually, um, the last level basically had like, it would say it was a deathmatch level converted to a single player level as well. But that one was tightly compact, had lots of enemies in it, lots of action. This one mostly just had former humans everywhere. Yeah, like, former humans and then some barons. Yeah, it, it, it really didn't feel like something that was challenging. It just felt like a, bar uh, a barren area for the most part. It was empty, it was boring, and while there was some difficulty with the enemies and whatnot because of how tightly confined they were, 
it, it, it felt kind of boring, honestly. It, it was repetitive, the end area, with all the barons. Um, everywhere else was just kind of dull because it was all former humans. And the level itself was just mostly corridor running. You know, it's one giant circuit and whatnot. You know, it's, it's a pain in the butt to get from one area to the next because even though it's interconnected, it kind of has like a linear track to it. Um, and then, of course, you have all the annoying secrets, which it interconnect it, it, to each other, which means if you miss one, you pretty much miss a lot of them. Um, you know, on, uh, honestly, the secrets aren't that bad, honestly. You know, uh, like, definitely after seeing how you can acquire that secret... Um, it actually feels pretty ingenious. It actually is something that I haven't really seen anywhere else. And it is actually something I like. I, I like how it was designed and whatnot because it's something you don't think of. And at the same time, it's a pretty well-designed secret. You know, for what it is, the secrets of this level are probably the strong suit. Which is very funny when you think most levels, that's the weak part. The problem is, outside of the conceptual ideas of the secrets... The, the level itself is absolute garbage. Um, and, and then you also have the fact that, you know, there's the secret area, um, we into the other courtyard area, whatnot, which is absolute garbage. Those secrets. So not all the secrets are so good, because then you have to spam walls or whatnot to try and get to, through the doors. And I'm not even really sure what the entire point of that was. What, to have the ability to look over the rest of the map? Or, like, deathmatch? As it stands in single player, it was totally useless. It served zero purpose to me. It felt entirely pointless to even have the access to go out there because it had nothing. It, it was just a massive waste of time, which, which, which stinks. And that's really kind of the problem here, is that a lot of it just felt like a massive waste of time. There was nothing going on for most of it. It felt static, it felt boring, and we were wandering around in giant courtyards doing really nothing. Well, corridors, not even courtyards. Um, yeah, and... It had a lot of star tan, which, of course, is always a bad sign. And it just wasn't really that much fun, yeah. yeah. That's really the big difference here, is that this level didn't really have much gameplay. It really kind of suffered entirely with its gameplay. And so even though it had some intriguing concepts of the secrets, the rest of the level was garbage. It, it, it absolutely just was frustrating and annoying to get through. And that's why I didn't have any patience whatsoever with the secrets, because, you know, this level is absolutely annoying to navigate around. You know, it has, you know, slow-moving, raising lower in areas. It has, you know, you know, corridors that go all around creation and whatnot. You know, the, the damaging force sector. You know, even though, you know, that that's, of course, a brilliant idea to have in your middle of your level. is a damaging force sector that really doesn't make sense. Um... You know, it's like the gaps between it don't really help you. So it's like almost pointless to even bother with the gaps. You know, you have to kind of like move to the side and hope that stops it. Yeah, it, it's weird. And that's the biggest problem here is a lot of it's weird. You have lots of invisible walls that aren't even secrets. They're just invisible wall areas for whatever reason. Um, it, it's just a frustrating level to navigate around. Because it's filled with all these weird anomalies and annoying... Things that interfere with normal gameplay. It, it wasn't really a normal level. It was trying to be more of a deathmatch level than anything. With some hidden areas to check out. You know, that, that almost felt like Big Brother or something like that. Something whereby you can't really see what's kind of going on. And then you get all these hidden areas that allow you to see what's going on. Which, which kind of, like I said, stinks for single player. Because... We don't really care about seeing how it goes on, and it just feels like giant expanses of nothingness for the most part. And that's kind of what exactly we got. We got something that's a ridiculously large map. A giant map here, you know, people, that was pretty much promoted as a giant map. And yet we got less enemies than we got last time, a relatively small map. Yo, know, we had nearly 300 enemies last time. This one we only had 94. And most of that, those enemies there were former humans, the weakest enemy in the game. Yeah. No traps, no hazards, no dangers. You know, the only real danger, like I said, was that exit area with the tedious Baron situation. You know, because fighting Barons in narrow corridors over and over and over is totally what I consider fun and challenging. Yeah. You know, 
It, it doesn't bring back memories of ambush and the uh, you know, pain in the butt situation of punching barons there at all. Yeah. So needless to say, absolutely frustrating and annoying. Just a just a dull level all around. Um, a, a lot of it really. That that's the big thing. It's not really an atrocity. I I didn't see anything here that I downright disliked, but. It, it is a pretty boring level that really gets old fast, and it has a lot of things that really is like nothing that I can really praise or say that's good besides the secrets. You know, it, it you know maybe that's kind of the good thing here is that it's not terrible, but yeah, it, it feels pr at the same time pretty um, bad just because of all the dullness to it. And the sheer number of annoying features found in it. Anyway, I'm done here. There's really not much more to say. Anyway, thank you very much all for watching, people. It's been the adventure. And I shall see you all, and hopefully something that's better than this. See you all then.